Today we are diving into a topic that's close to my heart as a beginner artist. Whether you're just starting out or you've been sketching for a while, this video is going to be for you. I'm going to share some tips and advice that I've been doing for myself and also practical exercises as you navigate being a beginner artist. I think the first one is the mindset of a beginner artist. Sometimes when you know what, when you begin to draw, you're so much concerned about being a, a perfectionist. What style are you going to do? What mistakes? The experiment. Then you want to learn everything. You learn everything from somebody else. You take one topic from one one person, the other topic from another person. Then you realize that you're actually not getting anywhere because you're so confused. There's so much information out there. So the first thing is you have to have a strong foundation on what you want to learn. Is it during the fi human figure? And if it's a human figure, is it just portraits, faces, poses? Is it action figures, realism, cartoons? Then you actually list down what are the areas that you want to learn. Perspective, shading, backgrounds, countrysides, landscapes. Then the second part is finding inspiration. You can go online and find various artists that you like and follow them. You go what they're doing and you learn. And you actually ask yourself, why do you like this artist? Is it because... Of the way they draw, how they draw, how they express themselves. And then start taking those things into your daily drawing habit. And the next one is overcoming challenges. Sometimes when you start a sketch and you tell yourself, I'm going to draw, it gets so hard because you don't have inspiration or you don't know what to draw. And even if you start drawing, keep on drawing because it's not perfect. But in the end, Every artist had a crooked line, an egg-shaped circle, or even a or even a box that resembled maybe a cartoon or a toy. But need to embrace the challenges and just continue drawing. And as you make mistakes, not the mistakes, and it's actually an improvement if you can actually see mistakes in your art and remember that every stock and every piece that you do that is completed shows your progress as an artist the next one the third one is you seek feedback and support from artists that you admire you find people in a circle who are artists and you ask them to critique maybe a sketchbook and provide feedback on areas that you can improve on or what you can focus on. Maybe it can be shading. It can be your, your sketches are too dark. You go too dark too fast. Or they remain too light. Because you are afraid of committing to the lines. Or you make too many lines. Or drink one line. As constructive criticism can provide valuable insights. And also help you see your work from somebody else's perspective. Five is being consistent and patient. Sometimes being an artist is really hard because you can do the same thing a hundred times. But the moment that you take a break, your brain forgets all that information, then you have to start from scratch. But remember that Rome wasn't built a day and neither can you get your artistic skills in just day. You have to consistently draw and be patient. And even as you draw daily, don't just do anything. Okay, there may be days that you're not inspired to actually do studies. But you can just do what you want. But have a schedule on what you plan to do, when and how. And create small victories. Once you finish a target that you put for yourself, celebrate that will help you continue this process the other thing i'm going to say is 
we need to embrace the learning curve. Not everything we do is going to be perfect at the same moment. All beginner artists have a learning curve. They learn from their mistakes when they're trying to figure out which style is best for them. Techniques you need to use. Every artist needs to embrace all this and actually help and put it into action and help you during the process of learning. So the first tip I think is I can give you is start with the basics. Find out what your goal is and from then your goal go back to what you need to learn in terms of fundamentals. Is it shading? Is it drawing lines or shapes? Is it landscapes? Is it animals? Is it cartoons? Whatever your goal end goal is Find the fundamentals and concentrate on that. The second one, as I talked before about inspira- inspiration, once you get inspiration, write down what you actually like about that specific artist. Then try and draw according to what the artists are doing that you like. And do sketches. You don't have to actually finish them or have them completely rendered. You can just draw everyday objects, nature, whatever inspires you and put this this inspiration from other artists onto your notebook and ideas. Remember that a notebook isn't supposed to be perfect. It's for you to practice. The third one, don't fear imperfections. Not everything you're going to draw is going to be a masterpiece. But eventually everything you draw is going to lead you a masterpiece so don't be afraid even if you draw a face that one eye is higher than the other who is nearer the nose than the other just draw and after you draw just turn the page and after you finish your sketchbook put it away a few months later come and actually go through it inside and find out what your weaknesses are what your strengths are and critique yourself and then from then on, try and redo that whole sketchbooks, sketchbook in a different sketchbook. From there, and actually gauge yourself how everything has changed, how you've improved from the first time that you filled that sketchbook to the current one. And don't worry. The fourth feedback tip is allow yourself to fail. Remember that you are human and you are an artist. Sometimes when you're trying to draw, not everything will be as you want it. But push forward and say, this is the next step to the hundredth step, to the thousandth step, to the millionth step of becoming an artist. Remember, it's all about your work and your progress. Don't be too hard on yourself. Everybody needs a break from there to now. Always celebrate achievements. Whether you filled one page, you filled five pages, you filled ten pages of a sketchbook, maybe you finished a sketchbook, reward yourself. That will help you to motivate yourself. And always keep a time when you draw consistently every single day. You can have breaks. But make sure you have a specific dedicated space where you draw and have a time. That consistent habit is going to actually help your brain to calm down, not to get frustrated every time you see a blank page on a sketchbook. And remember, celebrate yourself. You are on a journey. You cannot start climbing a mountain and finish in one hour. Sometimes a mountain takes years and years to prepare for. That is all. Don't forget you're not competing with anyone. You are on your own journey. That's all. And remember as a beginner artist, the journey should be exciting, full of discovery and growth. Remember, being an artist is enjoying the process of expressing yourself creatively and turning what is in your imagination to actually to the paper. I hope these tips 
have been helpful and i hope you enjoyed this video as a color a bird don't forget to like comment and subscribe for my art content if there's anything you'd like me to talk about or any video that you suggest i do leave it in the comment section until next time being creative embrace your own unique artistic journey see you soon bye Thank you.